What is up guys, it's your boy Swalem here, back with another Dragonflight gold farming video. So today we're checking out a solo and a group gold farm for Dragonflight, so you can do this one alone, or you can grab some friends and do this together as well. There's no reason not to be in a group, so if you can find up to four other people, so you can be in a full five-man party, then that is beneficial, you're just killing things faster, and you will get more loot per hour, so once again there's no reason not to be in a group, unless you literally can't find people to group up with. I should also say right now that this video will be uploaded a bit earlier for gold guide people, so if you have bought my gold guide, you will have early access to this uh, to this video. And I'm trying to do this for several videos where I'm giving you guys early access to make sure that you can do the farms while they are profitable. So this farm right here is insanely profitable now right now. And we're checking out two farms actually in this video. And hopefully by me giving you early access, you can do them while they're profitable and make more profits from them. The video will go live very, very soon as well. So here we go. Let's talk about what we're farming for here. And a couple of days ago, well, well, yesterday actually, when I was farming on stream, we were doing a hyper spawn farm in the Waken Shores, and I got some shields, and people kept asking me why I'm keeping them, and this is why. So I managed to get some rocks of ages while I was doing the hyper spawn, and I kept putting these in my bag and just not vendoring them, and people kept asking me why, and I was being kind of secretive. So here we go, this is, the, this is the reason why I kept the shields, because they are used in getting a pet. There's a pet you can get in uh, Dragonflight right now that requires three things and the shield is soulbound. So the shield is something you have to farm for yourself. The other two materials can be farmed in the open world and that is what we are basing our farms on today. So farm number one takes place in the Waking Shores and it's located all the way south right here. Like basically around the Dragon Scale base camp but at the Dragon area right here. So right west of the Dragon Scale base camp you will have lots of white the dragons and they are the ones you want to look for so if i just fly around here now you will see a lot of wild dragons inside here so we have lots of uh, the earth elementals here but if i fly a little bit further in like right about here now you will start seeing some of those wild dragons so here we have one that has just been killed this one right here the wild proto drake so you want to pull these two or you want to pull all of them together if you can or pull them one pack by one pack if you're a full group just pull as many as possible and walk around the entire aisle right here and do the same thing pull this one right here pull up here and kill all of the proto drakes really around the area there's no real hyper spawn farm when it comes to this one because they are so scattered around the place but it's a good group farm to just fly around look for the proto drakes and kill all of them around the island and do that on repeat and you're gonna be making a lot of gold from the farm itself based on one material so the one material you can drop on these ones is the element infused blood and right here it says these uh, the proto the dragons tie to the elements from deep this is basically a white uh, item and whenever you find a white item you know it you should probably not throw it out or not render it it's used for something and um, yeah it's like a fun treasure you can find in dragonflight right now we have found two secret mounts so far and now we have a secret pet as well and these things are selling for a lot on the auction house and selling fairly quickly as well so let's check out what it's used for go to wowhead super quick so you have the farm right now it's located right here once again this is farm number one on, in this video we're doing two farms in total so when it comes to the useful or the use case of these items, they are used to buy stuff from this vendor right here called Irius Lightfingers, the second hand supplies, which is located all the way up here as the Obsidian Sanctuary or the Obsidian uh, the Circle or whatever it's called, the Obsidian Place. So all the way up here you will have a vendor and if you scroll further down you will see first of all he's selling a mount. That is not what we're talking about today though. We are talking about chip. So Chip is a companion, and this one requires you to give him one of these Rocks of Ages, two of the pre-sentinent rock clusters that we'll take a look at in just a second and three of these element infused blood so based on that we are farming for our things we used to buy this pet and the shield itself is soul bound so you will have to supply that one for yourself if you want to have the pet but the other two ones can actually be bought and sold on the auction house and can be farmed in the open world so the one we just checked out was the element infused blood and now we're going to check out the pre-sentinent 
component a rock cluster as well and then we can go to the auction house and let check out their price and i can give you guys a rough gold per hour even though the gold per hour will fluctuate depending on your class the competition and how many people know about it so for example this is a gold guide early access so while you guys are farming it you might make a lot of profit and when the video goes public that profit might go down drastically either way let's talk about the second farm and where to farm for the uh, pre-sentient rock clusters as well. Now this next item will be a little bit more difficult to farm and that is this one, the pre-sentient rock cluster. And the only real place where I've found this to be able to be farmed in the open world is located all the way around right here, like on this cliff, right? And do you only have two or three mobs up at this location that can actually drop this item? And it's super weird, but yeah, that's how it works. And they could also drop during the pre-patch event as well, which is why some people might have kept them from the pre-patch event and put them on the auction house. But these ones are super incredibly difficult to come by compared to the element infused blood. But when I when I farmed, they were cheaper as well on the auction house than the element infused blood. So that's really weird. But then again, might be because people kept these from the actual invasions that happened before the expansion. So let's take a look at some of the AMA people here, now some of the mobs that can drop these ones. So if I just take a quick flight here, we can probably see one or two earth elementals. Yeah, it's this guy, the molded boulder. These guys can drop these ones with a pretty okay drop rate, I want to say. And you have like some of them going up and down the hill over here and some of them going up and down on the other side as well. So just fly around this location and look for those uh, earth elementals walking back and forth and patrolling this area and try to farm those for that item. Once again, the location for that one is all the way down here. Personally, if I was farming this right now, I would put my uh, my eggs into the element infused blood basket, especially if you have a group, because that one, there's way more mobs available. If you're farming solo, maybe go for this one instead, especially if you can combine it with something like a herbalism or a mining farm in Thaldrasis, because while well, you're farming in Thaldrasis, you have two or three mobs, you might, with you, you might want to wait for respawns afterwards as well so clear out the area then go do something else come back clear out the area again and do that on repeat and just farm these and make some gold that way okay so with that being said let's just go and check out the price of these on the auction house right now let's go so by going to the auction house right now we can see that the element infused blood is selling for 780 gold each on the auction house so right here 780 gold and there's a couple of them available and all the way up to 999 gold there's 72,000 golds worth so you could probably try to reset the market as well if you have enough gold for it and if you farm enough of the bloods before you start selling them when it comes to the pre-sentient rock clusters we can try and post these up as well and they are selling for 500 gold right now but you can see there's only 22 of them up so the real price would probably be closer to 1k because some Someone decided to just cut the price in half so if I just buy these ones right here and buy all of those I can now post it for this price instead giving me 1000 gold pretty much per pre-sentient rock cluster which can give you decent gold per hour it's not gonna be anything insane but for a solo gold farm this is definitely something you can look into farming and make some gold with Now, while you are at the auction house, you might also check out the price of chip on your server in the actual battle pet. And then you can keep in mind that the, the, the actual battle pet will cost you the same price as two of the pre-sentient uh, rock clusters and three element infused bloods in total. So for me, that will be a 3000 gold cost. And the pet is currently selling for 99 500 gold and there's only three separate people selling the pet on my server so for me it's obviously worth a lot more gold selling the pet itself but that being said pets have a lower sell rate than something like this especially now because now people might try to buy these materials on the auction house to flip it for the pet as well so if you have the gold guide and you're watching this before the early access comes out you can try to flip the, the pet yourself but the second the video goes public i would try to just farm the materials 
and sell the materials because that in in the when that happens people will just try to flip the pet instead and the materials will move like crazy either way that is basically the video just a very different one today focusing on both a solo gold farm and a group gold farm as well based on selling a pet i hope you enjoyed the video and i do also hope it makes may it helps you make a lot of gold in dragonflight itself i'm trying to just show you different ways to make gold both hyper spawning solo farming and just different ways overall and this one right here i think is very unique i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below subscribe as well we are getting very close to 40k right now it would be amazing to hit 40k before christmas and if you want to help me hit that goal well then click the subscribe button down below either way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon peace out guys